Welcome to a cup of coffee and a suitcase full of books. <laughs> New video out on my YouTube channel every Friday and live stream at 1300 on my Instagram. So, I went a little bit apeshit and yes, it's true. I have ordered. A suitcase filled filled with books. So this is gonna be the most insane unpacking that I have ever done ever on my YouTube channel. You are welcome. This is what depression does to you. Impulse. <laughs> um uh, don't get me wrong, I also buy books when I'm happy. Like uh, oh shit. Ooh. Like when I've sold uh, a book, uh, uh, see I'm thinking books now, like when I've uh, sold a painting, some of my comics, all of this you can get at cafefanzine.com and thank you for supporting true Norwegian underground comics and scenes from Café Fanzine. Thank you, link below. Long story short, I sold a painting that I, that I made to a customer. I do commissions so DM or mail me at nansoniabrand at gmail.com if you want to buy a painting one that I've already made or if you want to have your own uh, commissioned painting and I was really happy that day so um, I came home after a good day at the studio and I said to myself Martin you have to serve to order one book to treat yourself maybe two or three or as in my case uh, around 60 so uh, uh, the thing is they've been lying there uh, here in this suitcase because I brought the suitcase to the post office uh, because I knew that I was getting a lot of books the thing is when I ordered at the web shop and this is not sponsored by the way when I ordered all of these books I got all of the the fucking thing you get in the mailbox like there's a book for you waiting at the post office. Come get it. Ticket. Note. So I got all of them in one bundle. This huge bundle. Go to my Instagram mail and see in my story. Uh, so yeah, I took the suitcase with me. It wasn't big enough. So the suitcase was filled. Uh, and uh, they gave me two plastic bags to carry the rest of the books. Yes, the bags got torn apart. Luckily, as I came in the door in my little apartment that is now slowly uh, looking like um, the library of underground books, comics, and uh, cultish stuff and porn. So it's been lying here since my almost for a week now because I have a tendency to wait to save it for the right moment because I have to be honest, I don't remember half of the shit that I've ordered. So, if I don't do this YouTube video like I'm going to do today, then all of this is never going to be opened and books are made to be enjoyed. So, what we're going to do today, I'm just going to open it, show the book, say something short about it, move on to the next, or else this video is going to be one hour long. Uh, and one hour with no editing, it's going to be boring. So, this is going to be the unboxing ex extravaganza. Uh, the most insane unboxing that I've ever done. Let's see if I can just adjust this a little bit like this. Oh no, it didn't work at all as I wanted because I wanted to have my head in the frame. Still not in frame. Maybe like this. Okay, there you go. Okay, so let's start with uh, two books that uh, that fell on the outside. Are you ready? We're just going to try and do this quick. Jesus Christ. I think I have to empty all the have to vacuum afterwards <laughs> so let's start with the first book here and that is we get a lot of these uh, and uh, by the way always support your local book bookstores which I feel like I've been doing the biggest betrayal ever but to be fair I've used maybe ten times more on my local bookshop than in this one order and most of these books they couldn't get because they're either rare books hard to get or out of print and I'm very uh, picky when it comes to books I have the ones that I want blah 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 so Luna Linda at Little Book Taken Hexen I love you oh my god 
This is fucking insane. Holy fucking shit. This is fucking retarded. Are you guys ready? I love Henry Rollins. I found this book, first edition. It's called Art to Choke Heart, Henry Rollins. What I didn't know before I already ordered it, this is the German translation. But I have one of his rare books in German. I don't read German. Help <laughs> or Hilfe. So it's a good start. German book. Okay. <laughs> nice, Martin. Nice. Is it really in German though? Martin, have you ordered Henry Rollins book in German? It is in German, people. I have ordered a Henry Rollins book that I can't read because it is in German. Cool book though, like this. Hello. God damn it. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> damn. It said English though. It said hardback, uh, hardcover, English, and then in the order when they said your Henry Rollins book is now shipped, then it said translated by, and it was a German name. God, this is why books rule people. This is Body World by Dash Shaw. Very strange, almost like Dash Snow. Look at that cover. Wow. Body World. <sighs> Even has text and lettering on the books. Really beautiful book. What I'm gonna do with all of these books that we are opening now. I am gonna, uh, I'm not gonna promise, but I'm gonna try and do a, a Instagram post of all the books that I have. So after this video is, has dropped, I'm gonna put out a picture of 10 of the books so we get to see them or something. I'm gonna do something with the books. So just follow me on Instagram. <laughs> At Martimenzoni. It's like Christmas, this feeling. Most likely I'm gonna be lonely the rest of my life and live alone, so books, they will keep me company. And here we got. <gasps> Karsik, yes! John Wardle's Hitchhike, uh, Hitchhikes Across America and of 70 West. And this is the first edition uh, hardcover of uh, John Waters. Fuck yes. Can't wait to read that. See, we're only eight minutes in the video and we've opened three books already. So close, people. So close. Oh, and especially when these don't open properly. Now I wish I actually sold comic books because the. Oh, my God. Wow. Fuck, I love books. Holy shit, this is beautiful. New School by Dash Shaw. Fuck, that is beautiful. Wow. By acclaimed cartoonist Dash Shaw. And it's a fantagraphic book. Fantagraphic books a book. It's quality, people. It's quality. I'm an idiot, though, because I didn't rearrange. So when I'm putting all the books now, because we're going to film the books in the end of this video, um, then... Uh, um, then I could at least have already stacked all my books in one place. I didn't think so. <gasps> yes! Fuck yeah! Ditch Life by Amy Lockhart. This looks beautiful. The, it's imp like this is embedded, the glittery thing. Shit, it's fucking beautiful. I really want to publish my Ken the Chicken comics as a proper book. So publishers out there, Fender Graphics, No Comprendo Press, come on, publish my book. It's my two favorites, by the way. Hmm. And now we are going to see. Hmm. Whoa! Like this is probably the closest I will ever get to a book overdose. Wow! 
drawn in uh, quarterly. Michael DeForge leaving Richards Valley. Look at that brick of a book, people. Can I shine lights on it? Yeah, look at that, huh? Ooh. Fucking beautiful. Okay, it's already getting becoming a problem. I'm gonna save the skinny ones for uh, for last because I'm building a, a tower here. And if you follow me on um, uh, Snapchat MMX85, I do these random unboxings uh, on my Instagram like live. But I post it afterwards, so if you don't see them live, you can still get uh, to see them by because I post them. Fuck yeah. Bill and Ted's excellent comic book archive. Evan Dorkin, the guy behind Milk and Cheese, he's uh, also working on this, so it's a lot of other people, but especially Evan Dorkin, featuring a Ford by Evan Dorkin. Can't wait for this though. Bill and Ted goes to hell, everybody knows that. If you don't know Bill and Ted goes to hell, go to hell. Oh, should have brought the pillow for my skinny fucking ass. It's uh, not easy being... I'm really good at twerking though. But I uh, should have had something to sit on. <laughs> Jim Blankert's graphic art. Visual abuse. Wow. Look at that fucking book. Holy shit. Can't wait to read this. <sighs> and to my defense, I set up, like, I don't spontaneously, uh, spontaneously. I can't say the word. I did research on all the books that I have here. I did like some research. Like, is this my kind of style? Is this a comic artist that I like? But I didn't just like click like a madman. I actually did some research. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Michael DeForge and Ant Colony. Which has won like a million prizes and stuff. Uh pause the video and check these out uh, if you want to check out the style but I am it's drawn in quarterly this as well this is at, uh, won a lot of prizes and shit but uh, yeah um, I really recommend you check these out uh, and if you can get them from your local bookstore do that because it's so important <gasps> I forgot this this is so fun because there's so many books that I've totally forgot that I've ordered. One of my heroes in photography. I couldn't even show half of these photos to you guys. Polaroids by Maplethorpe. I don't know if you say his name right. But uh, his famous Polaroids. Like uh, a horse whip stuck up his ass. Yes, check him out. He is amazing. on these thicker books this is even taped a promising a promising sign Whoa. Fuck. didn't think I would ever have this book but I do and it's a little bit expensive this is one of the more expensive ones but it's fucking Robert Maplethorpe the archive look at that mammoth of a book look at that spine how thick it is that's what she said Fucking hell. So, this is going into the big boys uh, section. I'm trying to find a new uh, system here, but it's not easy. Oh my god, I'm saving the fucking head. Why didn't I <laughs> plan this video a little bit better? Or have an assistant. Let's take the, the big back ones here. Why didn't I start painting earlier in my career? So I could buy as many books like this. I hope you're enjoying this and you don't see this as a video like, look at me, I have so much money. Because I don't. I have to skip food uh, for a good while. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Again, the fo the, photo the photographs. Robert Maplethorpe. So these are the art books that I indulged in. Because I fucking love Robert Maplethorpe. If you haven't read uh, 
Patti Smith. For those of you who don't know who Robert Maplethorpe is, I highly recommend you see the documentary. Uh, I saw that at the, at the International Film Festival in Haugesund. Fucking amazing documentary about him and some brutal stuff like fisting and stuff. Really cool guy, but he was together with Patti Smith. And if you have read her book, Just Kids, it's about her and uh, Robert Maplethorpe. So check, read that book, just get it. That, that's uh, easy to get. Here it is. I bought this again recently, this book. Satanic Bible, every goth kid in the world with self-respect should have this pocketbook by Anton LaVey. And in the beginning of this book, somewhere in the foreword or whatever it was, I read about Mr. Kenneth Anger. And this is the book that he released. Uh, he is more known for his movies and his cult figure. If you don't know Kenneth Anger, check him out. He's still alive. Old as fuck, but fucking awesome. So this is uh, like, the like the underbelly of uh, Hollywood. So small though. Complete and unabridged. The legendary underground classic of Hollywood's darkest and best kept secrets. Ken Danger's Hollywood Babylon. Check this out, kids. It's fucking good. Mm. Mm. I never get sick of books, though. No matter what mood I am in, depressed, sad, or happy, books always make. I love it. I can never get enough of books. So if you ever want to send me a a gift or something or you don't know what to give me just give me a book whatever a book you think I should have comic book art book oh great ice cream at least one Henry Rollins book that is not in German oh wait a minute it is in German this too fuck so uh, a little bit uh, shit on their website <clears throat> that uh, they didn't very strongly write that this is in German because it said English I swear to you, it said English. Fuck. Stupid. Mm. Okay, we have. There's a lot of comic books here, so. Trying to get through the big ones uh, first. Because mm. the small ones, a lot of them are very exciting. Just saying. Oh, oh my god. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, pretty funny. I just opened this, the Henry Rollins book, and right after I open Raymond Pettibon, a pen of all work. Uh, this is a big chunky art book. Uh, for those of you who don't know, uh, Raymond Pettibon is the one responsible for the Sonic Youth Goo cover and Black Flag's numbers of the illustrated covers. This is going to be a big inspiration for. Ken the Chicken Volume 5 that I'm working on now because it's a trilogy. So it's Ken the Chicken uh, Volume uh, Volume 5. It's uh, part one of a trilogy. So it's gonna be it's Sex, Satan, and Suicide. But it's in Norwegian, so it's Sex, Alpha, and Seven One. And uh, yeah, that's gonna be some heavy fucking dark shit. You know what? I'm just gonna. Do this because you already seen the suitcase, you know what's up. I'm gonna swing this around here and we're gonna start building this little tower of books over here. This, this, and then maybe like this. You see the pile there? Yes. Oh. Might go to hell, but let's see how it goes. Uh, this one's a little bit small, so I have to wait with this. Mm. Then we can see the tower of books building slowly. Does this look okay? I'm just gonna fix. Oh, so nice with the hair underground because I never vacuum unless I'm getting a visit. Oh. So then we have some ooh fucking nice. This is a cool thing with books though they have these creative ways of uh, making them like this one. It's again Michael DeForge Sticks Angelica Folk Hero. Look at this beautiful book. How oh, it's shaped. Very cool. 
find a way like you you notice this in the bookstore only shit thing it's two micro reports uh, but the the spine uh, disappears a little bit oh fucking disgusting to lose it and oh, this is too small more fat books there you go I hope the angle is okay and I'm gonna drop you up a little bit like this then I'm gonna sit a little bit straight up mm. This that is a good one, you don't even remember what you fucking ordered. Oh, yes! Evan Dorking, uh, The Eltingville Club, comic book, science fiction, fantasy horror, and role playing. This is supposed to be really good, like a lot of, uh, uh, a lot of crazy shit in this comic. Can't wait to. I love Evan Dorking, again, the creator behind Milk and Cheese. For those of you who don't know, almost a little bit disappointing because the like it's not it's a lot of books already, but when you have them inside of this the the carton, of course it looks a little bit more extreme, like the pile that is building up beside me right now. <sighs> Again, yes, the moon. I am thinking of you. Not a beautiful illustration book, art book by Raymond Pettibone. Really love the simplicity of this. If I someday can publish beautiful books like this with my paintings and artwork, like I'm trying to do now in zine format, um, hopefully someday it's going to be turned into a book. But uh, that is the goal. Like I want all my comics one day to be published as a proper book with the best quality possible, and then the zines. For you guys out there who have supported me since day one, you guys have the the valuable uh, rare ones. Oh my god, I remember this one. Bottomless belly button. Oh, this is a mammoth. This from Fanta Graphics. And it's by Dash Shaw. Wow. This, look, okay, look at this book already. Holy shit, that is a fucking book. Oh my god, that is like a, it's bigger than the Bible. Jesus Christ, penis envy for that guy. Working, working like a motherfucker. Now we're starting to get to the, the bigger books here. Oh, again, I can already see it now because I recognize his style. Michael DeForge, uh, Heaven No Hell. Seems like a very beautiful, nice book. Very cool spine. And a lot of colorful details. Looking forward to that. Uh, believe it or not, people are actually getting to the bottom of this. And it's 23 minutes, so it's it's a long video, but still though, it's uh, I wonder if anybody, are you still watching? If you're still watching this, can you please comment below? Because I'm really curious if people are gonna like seeing me unboxing this. That's kind of, yeah, it's kind of selfish. Just me looking through my ever-growing collection. This is, uh, if I remember correctly, the same guy who's made uh, Charles Burns. Is it? Doesn't it say? Charles Burns? Pretty sure it is. Yeah, yeah. Charles Burns. Free shit, it's called. It's a little, very cool format. Beautiful. It's like textured spine with details, with imprint and glitter. Like, fantagraphic books. Motherfuckers. You guys have the most beautiful books. And I like the, the barcode on the eyes. Very beautiful. Put that little sucker on the side. Sorry, now to get to the more comic uh, area now, I see. There's one book. So, we have these left. I'm gonna away like this. Okay, so let's start on the uh, smaller ones. And it's easier to tear up. You don't even add. Woo! Cool. We have John Waters. 
interviews. A lot of John Waters people. Uh, and I do on my, I think I do, on unboxing or something. I talked about John Waters in one of my lives. These small ones are so much easier to open. Oh, fuck yeah. Eric Haven, uh, Compulsive Comics. They kill like some famous comic book artist inside of this one. I don't remember who it is. But I think it's Daniel Clubs. They make fun of him or something like that. And it became like a little bit uh, controversy around that. I'm excited to read this. Uh, this one. Oh, love tearing these off though. Now I have bookmarks for life. Cryptoid by Eric Haven. This looks really funny. It's like an elf fighting uh, something. Classic, again, Fantagraphics. And I think if I don't, uh, if I'm not mistaken, uh, Eric Haven used to work first for Fantagraphics. And then he started um, publishing his comics too, because he was working for them as more as an something or something. I don't remember exactly what it was, but he then started publishing his own stuff. Ah, uh, yeah, again, Vague Tales, Eric Haven. I most likely have everything that they had, but this looks really fun. I have another one at the studio that I haven't shown you guys that I did open there. Now we're getting more into the comics I see, like the more smaller formats. I'm gonna have a nightmare of recycling all of this stuff. Not gonna have uh, any problems reading new stuff though in the near future. Okay, no, 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 no. no. Fuck. Oh, Josh Simmons' Black River. Fucking amazing uh, uh, comic, like writer and comic book artist. Or maybe is, is he just a writer? I think he does a little bit of both. Let's see. Mm. Yeah, he does everything. Oh shit. And this is first printing as well. Yes, I love first prints. Okay, next. Oh, I love these little. I haven't even seen what this is, so I'm looking away. I think it's Michael DeForge, if I can recognize the style. It is, Michael DeForge, Big Kids. Very cozy little book. Love it when I have like colorful illustrations, looks beautiful. Very cute uh, small books. I'm gonna try and maybe have the small ones on top here already, because I have the other ones here. But that's a good thing though, when you can recognize the artist's style right away. Mm. Yes, okay, if you guys haven't read this guy, I highly recommend you check it out because it's one of the most fucked up things ever. Uh, Joanne Cornella, I think that's how you say his name, this guy. And this is also a Fantagraphic Books release, and the cool thing with this, can you see that? The spine is like this, it's hard, <laughs> as she said, hard, and then this is the comic book, so it's like soft. This is soft and this is hard. <laughs> and he's very known for his uh, non-text uh, comics like this. Fucking cool. Holy shit. Can't wait to see that. It's perfect book to give to anyone in gift. Either if you hate them or love them, it's either perfect. Oh yeah, oh yeah. One of my favorites, one of the kings in comics, Mr. Johnny Ryan. And this is, uh, what's it called again? Fuck this little sus pussy. Oh, I can't read that. Fuck you, asshole. Fuck you, asshole. That's actually... <laughs> Fuck you, asshole. It's the title of the book, I think. Yeah, fuck you, asshole. That's the name of the book. Okay. Uh, 
napkin. It looks like a childish book, but uh, I can assure you, it's far from childish. I also have to grow a little pile here. Actually, not so bad, to be honest. Not so bad. And now we have... <gasps> I didn't know about this, but this is gonna be fucking amazing to read. Uh, one of my favorite writers of the controversial uh, um, edge. Like this book is Life Never Ends Well, a cavalcade of murders, suicides, accidental deaths and tragic dem dem demises by Jim Goad. Just Google his name, Jim G uh, Goad, G-O-A-D. Uh, Shit Magnet, one of the best books he's written. Fucking insane story. And uh, yes, I do have his... Uh, scenes uh, that he and his ex-wife uh, just just google them i think you will find quite entertaining mm. if you like dark shit jim gold is the man like live forge familiar face because i love his style very uh, bold and artistic uh, and the books looks amazing this is drawn in quarterly Again, I think this is first, first print, first edition. So that's why I went a little bit crazy, because a lot of my favorites and stuff that I want, they had first editions available. And I am a sucker for first editions. I don't recognize the style of this one. Over 30 minutes, people. <sighs> Crackpot, The Obsessions of John Waters. Another book. And this was not so good. John Waters is the Pope of Trash and his taste in tacky is unexcelled. William S. Burroughs. Wow. John Waters, God love him. He's divine. Okay. Well, he's not divine, but he does. Wordplay. And, oh, my back is starting to hurt, but we're almost done. And this is... I think I actually got one, yes. <laughs> Role Models, John Waters. Another book, the illustration is quite cool. Fuck yeah. Get in there, people, only... These left, and then we're done. And I am not gonna sleep tonight. I wake up every morning at seven. Okay, I, like today I did slumber oh, from seven to 10. But, yes, here it fucking is. I told you guys about this one, right? Satanic Bible, get it kids. Satan Speaks by Anton Sadolavey. It's a foreword by Meryl Manson. An introduction by Blanche Barton. Uh, gotta have Satan. Uh, totally forgot what, what I was gonna say. Oh yeah, I always get up at 7, make myself a cup of coffee, and uh, try to eat first, but sometimes I can't wait. But I always try to eat first, or else my stomach gets all fucked up. But then I read for two hours before I go to my studio. Fuck yes! Evan Dorkin again, with Roger Landridge. Bill and Ted are doomed. Bill and Ted comic, people. Bill and Ted go to fucking hell. If you don't know it, you should see it. Cult classic and scared the shit out of me when I was a kid. Uh, when they are in hell and they have this grandma that I just want to pinch their cheeks. Fucking nightmare. Oh, motherfucker. Speak of the devil. The devil's notebook by Anton Sadolave. So we have all the Satan books now. I even had some other ones uh, just recently. Cool, Feral House. Uh, if you don't know Feral House, uh, those uh, are the ones that released uh, Lords of Chaos and uh, uh, Process Church of the Final Judgment, which I did an uh, unboxing of on my Instagram, so go check that out. Mm. Here, Michael DeForge, yes. First year healthy. Beautiful, looks like a children's book almost. Man, I wanna 
just imagine if I had a hardcover book with my comic, because this isn't that many pages. Like it is some, but it's not super many. And this is by Drawn Quarterly, and it is, and it is, is the first edition? First hardcover edition, oh yes. Mm. Beautiful book. Boop. So now all the comics are arriving. You're gonna laugh your ass off when you see the stack of fucking paper. Oh, Josh Simmons again. Jessica Farm, volume two. Again, one of my favorites. This is fucking madness, this one. It's, oh, it's fun, it's colorful, it's violent. Is this the most insane unboxing you've ever seen on a... <gasps> Finally! I have some of the originals, but I don't have them all. So when I found out that this was released, I lost my shit. But here it fucking is. I think it's all of them. But it's milk and cheese dairy products gone bad. Complete. This is one of my favorite comics as a kid. I think it's everything. Uh, collecting this returns in this deluxe hardcover. Well, it's not a hardcover. Collecting every single stupid milk and cheese comic ever made from 1989 to 2010, along with a shit ton of supplement awesomeness. Fuck yeah, Evan Dorkin, you rule. Very stoked on that. That was really cool because I, I did. Ha I have some. Singlicious, like original ones that were released, but it's a pain in the ass to find because it was really like underground comic. Oh my god, here we go. Jessica Farm Volume 1 by Josh Simmons. I'm gonna put you right there with uh, like this. So, Volume 1 and 2. Really nice. Uh, even that I want to publish, like that kind of size. People, we are actually getting close to the end here. I think I recognize this one. Do I though? One of my favorite illustrators fucking ever. John Cuneo, a little bit rough handling on this book. John Cuneo, coping skills, helpful drawings. This is a new release from, from, from isn't it Fantagraphics? Looks like another logo on this. No, it's not Fantagraphics, it's... Mm, oh, whatever, it doesn't say. But uh, he's fucking amazing. Check out his Instagram. Uh, John Cuneo, C-U-N-E-O. Check him out, like, seriously. This is high art. Okay. Holy shit. We are at the last, uh, last unboxing of all these uh, books you see in the background. Thanks for watching. New video every Friday here on my YouTube channel. Link uh, uh, to subscribe and all that. Leave a comment below which one was your favorite and what comics, books, or whatever do you recommend me to check out. Right below. Also, if you're watching this early on a Friday, then uh, uh, live stream has already been because this time the live stream was on a Thursday because I'm going to come and get on Arctic this uh, weekend and it starts already early on Friday when I normally have my live stream sessions but normally every Friday at 1300 is a live stream this uh, time it was yesterday when you're watching this so I hope you follow me on Instagram because there I notify all my followers in my story that the live stream this week it's going to be Thursday, which is yesterday, if you're watching this right now. Fuck yeah. The last one that got here. I, oh, by the way, I also pre-ordered some books that are not yet out, that are on the way or will arrive shortly. Uh, those will be unboxed on my Instagram when I do a spontaneous live. And if you want to join that spontaneous live, you have to uh, uh, add me on Snapchat, mmx85. And then I will give a, a notification when I'm doing the spontaneous live and then I will publish it on my Instagram. So no worries if you don't get to join, but it's more fun when you guys join. There is a beast and a man that should, should be exercised, not exorcist.
exorcised. Exorcised. Yeah, you know what I mean. Uh, perfect ending, because uh, my impulse is a way of um, just uh, releasing that beast. The Secret Life of a Satanist, the authorized biography of Anton Sabrolave by Blanche Barton. Revised edition. We end with this book from Feral House. So fucking cool. The original edition of the compelling biography of the founder of the Church of Satan has been in print since it was originally released in 1991. Today, two decades after the good doctor's passing, here is a revised and expanded edition complete with all new chapters and never before printed photographs. Can't wait. So, uh, now I'm going to show you the chaos that is been piling on the side of me here. All of this. I can show it even better by doing this I think because I have to do this anyway here is the suitcase uh, all of this is just from the that books we've opened right now and I thought huh I'm gonna save some of these so I can send my stuff but my office is gonna be packed with shit if I don't actually throw this away and the recycling so we're putting all of this away just I'm gonna put you there and then we're gonna take a look <laughs> Jesus there we go all the stuff we opened is back in the box oh so much stuff here and I don't need to worry though about bookmarks anymore uh, because I think I have my fair share I can even give bookmarks away as a present because I have that's not a joke I have a lot of bookmarks right now people Ugh. so we're gonna take a little look at the books um, before I end this video and I can't turn the camera, so it's a little bit stupid. But it's these are the books. Okay, it's shit because the lighting and blah 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 is not so good. But here you go. Here's the tower of books that I ordered because uh, whenever I'm happy or depressed, I tend to order stuff online. Thank you, internet. So, I hope you liked the video, and if you have any questions, um, feel free to ask. Uh, I reply quicker on Instagram, on DM. But yes, this is the, the madness that is this video. A cup of coffee and a suitcase. A suitcase full of books. My name is Martin Benzoni, and I am fucking insane, and I love books. <laughs> My precious. <laughs> Okay, goodbye. See you next week. This is the longest video ever, so it might be made into part one and part two. Uh, I think I have to do that because it's way too long. Okay, bye people. Bye.